What's going on YouTube? This is Kevin Reese here. So I know it's been a while since I've done some videos. Uh, I know you can probably tell it has been a while since y'all have seen me. My hair's kind of grown up, got kind of a beard going on. Um, anyways, guys, I just wanted to give y'all an update. So I'm really thankful that I have gotten over 2,000 subscribers now. That's crazy. I never thought that that would ever happen to me. Um, <clears throat> I appreciate all the support to all my subscribers. Um, <clears throat> I've kind of got like a new little studio setup going on here. As you can tell, old log cabin, old family home that I got. You can see behind me, I've got, you know, just books. It's, a, it's like a library. There's all kinds of, all kinds of stuff in here, guys. Um, even got old school Etch-A-Sketch in the corner. But, uh, what, I, the reason I'm doing this video today is, uh, I'm actually shooting this. This is going to be one of the last videos that I'm doing kind of like a vlog actually on a cell phone. Now, this is a new cell phone. This is my Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Um, but what I have in front of me is what I want to show you all today, uh, my new camera equipment, because I do have so many subscribers, I really want to give you all like professional content, the best content that I could possibly give, so I'm going to let you all check everything out, we'll set it all up, and uh, we'll see how everything looks. This is to be kind of the quality that you'll be getting uh, from me from now on, so I appreciate the support, guys. It costs me a lot of money to do this, but... Um, I've got so many people out there that love watching my videos and subscribe to me. Figured it's time to upgrade, so let's check it all out. All right, guys, so we might as well start with the biggest, biggest purchase. This is the Sony A6500, so this camera can shoot in 4K. This is a mirrorless. If you're not familiar with mirrorless and DSLR, this is a mirrorless camera. I picked this up, guys. I uh, thought it would be really great, so going to go ahead and go with this uh, 4k footage and that's kind of where everything's going these days so this will give me great content for y'all so over here this is just my 1650 this is the sony the e-mount the kit lens uh, that came with it i'll probably end up purchasing some new lenses in the future just seeing how everything goes i went ahead and got some lighting um this is the newer 176 so uh I'm going to put this uh, on my, I have a V-shoe mount that I also picked up here um, it's in this box. So what it will mount to the hot shoe of the camera and uh, essentially just be a spot for my microphone and a light. So I can kind of have everything all in one. So like for traveling and stuff, I can still get good content out. <clears throat> this is an old tripod that I have. Um, the new thing that I put on here is this Joby. This is the grip mount. You can see right here, this is just for like shooting with your cell phone. So uh, I still will be doing some cell phone footage, like especially when I'm doing um, automotive stuff like that, uh, videos like that. It's easier for me to get this tripod. You can see it's all greasy um, up underneath stuff and kind of give you all like a bird's eye view of what I'm doing up underneath the vehicle or hood or whatever. Coming right here, this is the newer, <clears throat> because this light, this it only came with the light it didn't come with the batteries and a charger so i picked this kit up also um i got both of those on amazon it was kind of like you know you may people who purchased this also purchased that so that's one of the reasons that i got that because it kind of um was one of those things that i just needed along with it so got two batteries and a, and a charger and some cables there so this is the Rode Video Micro. Uh, so the reason I got this mic, guys, is because this is, it's powered by itself. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, it gets its power from the camera so you don't have external batteries because I'm trying to be as lightweight and just as minimalist as possible, guys. Like I said, for traveling and everything, I just want everything to be as compact as I can get it. So that's the reason I got that. Um, so that's going to be some good audio for you guys. Picked up, uh, you know, got to have an SD card. Um, this one is good for 4K. So I uh, got this for my, for the 8500. This is going to be my, for my vlogging setup. This is the Gorillapod SLR Zoom and Ball Head. This is also Joby. So I uh, picked this up, guys, because it's going to be great for, um, you know, mounting the camera on with my whole setup if I'm doing vlogging on the go. And then coming over here for uh doing like studio type stuff like i'm doing now or or big reviews where i'm outside or you know in a kitchen or whatever mm -hmm. so you right here you can see this is the magnus video tripod and there's your model number there the vt100 um it might be the i know that's the one two three and 350 i'm not sure which one this is exactly but it's in here uh the reason i got it it was it was um 
it was pretty affordable. I want to say it wasn't as expensive as like some of the Manfrotto tripods that were like $800 because I just wouldn't go pay that much. But this one was maybe like 70 or 80 Picked it up on Amazon. Um, I, this is a mix of mix of stuff from like Amazon and eBay. I got the camera and the lens on eBay because they had the best price. But picked this up on Amazon. They had the best price. It's got a fluid head, so it'll be good for like if I'm doing like a tabletop review for you guys. Kind of show you, you know, kind of slow pans and stuff like that. And then last but not least over here, something to carry everything in. This is the Low Pro Tahoe, the uh, BP-150. So as you can see, you can flip this thing open. It's got plenty of space in here. I've got some of my GoPro stuff. This is going to be like my, my whole camera setup bag. So like GoPro, um, my Sony. So everything I put in here. And you can see you can put a huge, like a DSLR in there if you want to. And these, these adjust, come back, come down. So, um... You know all that all that moves you can adjust all the compartments and it has different pockets and stuff like that on it but i uh, got this just to kind of put everything in and have it all in one spot so that's everything guys um we'll go ahead now and i'll switch to try to put everything together and we'll just show you some footage i'm not going to go like an in-depth review on each one of these products but i'll just mount it all up and let y'all see the difference all right guys so here we are this is just the like i said this is my samsung the galaxy s9 plus shooting it um it's got a great awesome camera on it guys thank you y'all was very good quality um but we're gonna go ahead now like i said i'm gonna get everything set up and uh we'll show y'all what it looks like on the a6500 with the road video micro and all that jazz so let's go ahead and check it out all right guys so here we are we've got the new setup got the lighting got the tripod the camera the microphone i hope you guys like it this is going to be the new setup from here on out so get used to it it's going to be great so and this is in uh shooting in full hd right now 1920 1080 uh this is not 4k i will be doing some 4k footage in the future uh, but for right now um well, hang on i need a haircut Ah, whew, that feels a lot better guys got it fresh cut still got this beard though we're gonna have to take care of that and get that out of here all right guys so here we are nice cleaned up ready to go so i hope you've liked that video that's kind of just been uh unboxing just kind of all this new equipment i'm getting you know for y'all and also new hairstyle for me so uh Hope y'all like it. I'm Kevin Reese. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out to make videos for you guys. I'll catch you next time.